I just want to make a couple of points, kind of broad points as we start up here. Um, as a social work student, we hear a lot about kind of how, you know, poverty is kind of, you know, expanding in America and all the different things that are going on. But really having an economics approach to that um, allows me to kind of really solidify kind of what I'm seeing in the world around me. The American Dream was a current topic that was going to be affecting a lot of the communities that I'd be working with, and it would be a good idea to get a better understanding of the American Dream. We have students from arts and sciences and econ and several other disciplines, and we have students from the School of Social Work, and Steve's background is economics, and mine is sociology and social work, so having that mix in the classroom is really dynamic. It wasn't that I decided I wanted to teach about the American Dream, or he decided that he wanted to teach about the American Dream, it's that our conversations together led us both to decide we wanted to teach together, and then the American Dream concept emerged pretty much organically. I'm an economics and mathematics major, and I've worked a lot with Professor Fazari on Keynesian macroeconomics. But living in St. Louis, moving to St. Louis, has gotten me really interested in issues of poverty and issues of social justice. And I saw this class as sort of really the first time that I was offered the chance to combine those two perspectives. And I just felt that an interdisciplinary course, combining economics and social work, would give me a perspective of uh, people who were actually making economic policy and probably getting a feel for how they were thinking with the policy that will affect my clients. We're focusing on three main components. One is the freedom to pursue uh, what you want to do, to try to reach your potential. Uh, a second one is a kind of uh, bargain that if you work hard and you're responsible, you should have uh, a secure, maybe you, some people would say even a comfortable life. And the third one is a sense of hope and optimism that the future should look better than, than what we've seen in the past. It does provide a lot of um, interesting feedback and questions and discussions that really, I think, push all of our thinking uh, forward. For example, Steve today is going to talk about issues of globalization, and I was doing the readings before, uh, before class this afternoon, and really it's, it's, a, it's a different way of thinking about some of these issues. Uh, economics profession is different than, say, sociology. And so as I was thinking about this, I was starting to get ideas and thinking about things to raise in the discussion, which I probably wouldn't have thought of uh, had I not done those readings. So again, it's this idea of bringing different things to the table within the classroom, which uh, you know, stimulates all of our thinking. We're working through a lot of different topics. Uh, the ones that, that I've taken main responsibility for are, of course, the more economic ones. Uh, economic growth is a pathway to the American dream. Unemployment is a barrier to achieving uh, the American dream. Uh, today we'll be talking about globalization and some of the challenges that uh, the modern global environment uh, pose for whether Americans can reach the dream. Kind of gives me an idea of how economists think. So I didn't ever really have that background because I'm not from economics and I'm a social worker, you know. So it kind of gives me an idea of what economics is all about and what people are thinking when they come to the table. This class has really been able to, to give me the chance to look at the problems that prevent people from accessing the American dream, whether it's nutrition or you know, something more specific, more economic, um, and to look at that from this aggregated perspective, which I think is really important for a policymaker.